the director of the Disciples Handbell Choir at First Christian Church here in Fort Smith. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. Now you are, a, a, <clears throat> I guess, a big fan of, of handbells. You had the first, you started the first handbell choir in Arkansas right. back in 1960. In 1960, the church was donated the two octave set and you know, here they were and I had to learn what am I going to do with them. And we, we learned pretty fast. So we've been, I, I had to go, but didn't have to, but I went to San Francisco for 25 years and was gone from Fort Smith. And then when I came back five years ago, some of the ones that had played bells in 1960 asked me if I would be interested in, in starting a new bell choir with, with those as the nucleus. And uh, now, after five years of real hard work, we're pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, hard work, I bet. Yeah. I, I don't understand how you could play it. I mean, each bell has a different tone to it, and, right. and you have to have a whole group of people in order to get what would be, I guess, just one line of music. It yeah, looks really well, hard. <laughs> it, it's not as complicated, perhaps, as it looks. Uh, we, have, we normally play five octaves of bells, mm -hmm. you know, which is, is like five octaves on the piano, mm -hmm. and everybody is assigned two letters, or, you know, two keys, like C and D, mm -hmm. with their corresponding sharps or flats. But then when you do five octaves, you've got to have more, more bells. So what one person can't get, you know, I have to give to somebody else. Mm -hmm. and the, the bass people play so many bells that I don't even know what they're playing. They, they decide themselves. Mm -hmm. You'll I see what I'm talking about. I yeah. wonder if music is more difficult to write for bells or if there's any difference at all. Or it, it... Yes, there's, there's quite a bit of difference. Uh, I have done a lot of arranging and I normally just take the, the piano score, but then adapt it for, for the bells. You have to be careful of overtones. That's mm -hmm. the main, main difference in the piano and the bells. Well, maybe. I noticed too, speaking <clears throat> of writing the music, they didn't even have sheet music, the, the choir that came in. That no one had a, a piece of paper well, in front of them. This, this is practice, our practice, reputation practice. because <laughs> we're the only choir in the United States that plays for memory. And okay. uh, I decided way back in the 30s, in the 60s, that this was the direction to go. You know, you never expect children to have to look at music when mm -hmm. they're singing. So I thought, well, my bell choir is not going to look at music when they're playing. Well, good. So, How do you get into your bell choir? How would you audition to be in a bell choir? You just have to be dedicated. You know, the, one of the most important things is you have to be there at every rehearsal. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're not there, then your bells don't get played and your neighbor gets all confused yeah. because the notes aren't next to him. So <clears throat> anybody that really wants to play bells and is willing to give the time and the effort, you know, we're happy to have them. Right, okay. All right. Well, we're going to, we have a tape of, of when the handbell choir came in this week, the Disciples Handbell Choir of First Christian Church. We're going to listen to them now. The first song is called God of Grace and God of Mercy.
you want to lose those wintertime blues? Here's the way you are out and about weather or you're going to church weather this morning. Plenty of clouds outside. Unfortunately, it is blah and dreary outside. Temperature somewhere between 25 to 35 degrees at uh, my last checking. It should be somewhere around there this morning. And we want to say happy birthday to Janice Rogers in Bowles. She's celebrating today. And a birthday for Catherine Hayes. She's 61 years old and she's from Panama. Happy birthday. Happy birthday goes out to Dora Davis, 79 years old today in Sunset Corner. And Robert and Sandra Cook celebrating 25 years of marriage together. They are from Charleston and a happy anniversary to you. And I think uh, Fort Smith, after hearing the Disciples Handbell Choir, Fort Smith has another thing to be proud of. Oh, the only <laughs> choir that does not use sheet music no in the whole music. country. And we've been finding out just how difficult it is. If, if you think it Tough looks stuff. easy, it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, on our calendar of events, the Dance for Heart is taking place this afternoon at the Holiday Inn. Registration starts at noon. And here are some of the other events that are happening. The Jazz at the Museum series continues at 2 o'clock today at the University Museum Exhibit Hall on the University of Arkansas campus. The St. James Baptist Church Choir will be the featured group. Baptist School of Nursing, North, uh, Nursing Northwest has a new home. The open house for the new facility is from 1 to 4 today. The school is in the Old Jones Truck Lines headquarters at 610 Emma Avenue in Springdale. The public is invited to attend. Arkansas's Composers Weekend is set for today with two concerts, one at 3 and the other at 8 o'clock at the Fine Arts Center in Fayetteville. Guest composer will be Claude Baker of the St. Louis Symphony, and tickets are available at the door. Today is Layman's Day at the Mount Zion Church in Fort Smith. The day is dedicated in honor of the late Floyd Berry. It all starts at 3, and the church is located at 910 North 7th Street in Fort Smith. And if you have an event, we'd sure like to know about it. You can write to us at the Weekend Morning News, P.O. Box 1568, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 72702. Or you can write to us at P.O. Box 369, Fort Smith, Arkansas, 72902. And, of course, you can always call us if you need to have that address. And if you don't get it now, you can get it later. Sebastian County 4-H'ers are hoping to make lots of money in a very sweet way. It was the 4-H'ers first annual pie auction extravaganza. Homemade pies of all flavors were sold to the highest bidder. They were also cakes of every color, sweets even a dentist would love. And by the looks of all the pies there, the 4-H'ers should have raised a lot of dough. Dough, D-O-U-G-H. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for this morning. We are going to leave you with the Disciples Handbell Choir. Once again, they will play for us uh, Rachmaninoff Prelude in G Minor. He is a Russian composer, we found out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> not Austrian, not German. <laughs> and uh, that will, that's what we'll close with this morning, and we'll see you again next weekend. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.